Hi everyone, myself Dr. Madhuri Shingmas. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am a board certified dermatologist from India, discussing important derma related topics in my YouTube channel. So, if you are new, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. So, uh, we will start with the good quote, good thought of the day. The harder you work for something, the greater you are going to feel. The greater you are going to feel when you achieve it. So, uh, I would rather say instead of working hard, if you work smarter, then you will feel even more greater after you achieve it. So this is MCQ today and if you have answered this as option A, you are right. So let us see a few points about Staphylococcal Scarlet Skin Syndrome, the other name for which is Ritter's Disease. It is also called as Ritter's Disease and basically this is a extended version of the Bullus Impetigo. So if you understand Bullus Impetigo, then probably you will also understand this Staphylococcal Scarlet Skin Syndrome. Bullus Impetigo is caused by Staphylococcus aureus, this is the important MCQ, which produces a toxin, exfoliative toxin or epidermolytic toxin A and B. Both of these are going to damage Desmoglein 1, Desmoglein 1 and because of uh, Desmoglein being present only in the skin, there are going to be Bullus lesions produced only on the skin. Bullus and vesicle, vesicles and bullous lesions will be produced on the skin. Whereas mucosa, mucosa, because mucosa has desmoglein 3 in higher concentrations. So in the these patients, bullous of bullous impetigo as well as staphylococcal scarlet skin syndrome, which is actually an extinction of the same exfoliative toxin A and B. When these toxins will hematogenously spread, they are going to produce what is called as Staphylococcal scarlet skin syndrome or Ritter's disease. So, in which the child, usually it will be a chill, uh, ch child who will present with this condition will be having fever, arthralgia, myalgia, malaise. Uh, that is, constant symptoms will be present. And uh, if you observe, the skin will show sheet-like epidermal peeling and there is going to be a lot of skin tenderness. But if you observe carefully here, the mucosa which is completely spared in these in, uh, children will be a very very important differentiating fe feature from a very important condition which is a deadly condition which is called as toxic epidermal necrolysis otherwise uh, both these conditions are going to have almost all similar features except for in uh, of course toxic epidermal necrolysis drugs are the causative uh, factor etiological factors Whereas in the staphylococcal scarlet skin syndrome, it is the toxins which are the responsible agents. And this is the picture of the child which is going to show this sheet-like epidermal peeling which you are able to see here clearly. Sheet-like epidermal peeling will be there, entire skin. And uh, because the underlying pathogenic mechanism is acantholysis, so in these children we can see Nikolsky sign positivity. Nikolsky sign will be positive. So, this is the sheet like epidermal peeling again uh, over the hands which you are able to see and uh, this is the tomorrow's uh, you know discussion question. Please do leave your answer in the comment section. So, if your uh, answer is right, I will like that comment and uh, if you wish to watch the dermatology related topics being discussed, the links are there in the description. Join all my dermatology groups they are, uh, they are, and also if you have any specific topic for me to discuss, leave in the comment section. and. Do subscribe to my YouTube channel, the link will be there here. Do watch out these previous videos and if you like this video, please, please do like this video. Thank you so much. Happy learning dermatology. Sarvai jana sukhino bhavantu.